In part two of this uh, uh, two-day DBA tutorial, we need to get the operating system ready to run uh, the database installer. The way we do that is go into the Linux that we created and set it up to be able to read the DBA install files, get the network configured, and uh, add disk drives to install the database onto. So the first thing we do is boot the Linux operating system. Log in with the default password of Oracle. So the first thing we need to do is install the uh, guest additions. This is done by running it as root. What this is doing is providing extensions to the base operating system so that we can mount the local hard drive that we have the database installation images on. Uh, this is an extension of uh, uh, VirtualBox. Um, it allows us to mount local folders. And by mounting the local folders, it allows us to take uh, ISO images and preloaded binaries and install onto the system. So while we're doing this, we also want to make a few changes. We want to go in and modify the network connection. We're modifying ETH0. We want to give it a static IP address instead of dynamic. And we'll use the default 8.8.8.8 DNS router to make that work properly. And then we'll turn off IPv6 because we're not going to use it. And a couple things we want to do before we reboot. Let's change the uh, host name of the system. and assign an IP address to it. Now we're including the Oracle Linux 6 in the Oracle Linux 6 local domain as part of this just so that the tutorials that are part of Linux still work but we're going to change the host name to db12c. Except we have to be sudo to make this happen. Okay, at this point we have the CD modifications to allow us to mount the local disk. We've changed the host name, we've changed the IP address, we've changed the networking to be static IP, and we just need to shut down the system. Now the reason we're doing a shutdown is we need to go in and modify a few things associated with the um, with the virtual box. <clears throat> and you can't make those modifications while the system is operational. So we go into settings. Under settings, the first thing we want to do is modify store modify the network to be a bridge adapter so that it's not local. We want to go in and define a shared folder. That was the whole reason we did the guest. 
And in this instance, we're mounting the E drive that's on the computer. Go ahead and auto mount it. And then we want to add storage. We're going to dynamically allocate the storage. We're going to call it UO1. And we're going to make it 40 gig in size. So now we've got the UO1 there. We also want to go in and modify the memory. Since we have space on this system, we're going to go ahead and say give it 4 gig of RAM uh, in the processor. Give it two virtual CPUs just so it's a little bit quicker. And at that point, we can restart the operating system. So to review what we've done, we've modified the network configuration to be a bridge network rather than a local uh, network uh, so that we can get out to the UM server. We assigned it the IP address 192.168.1.222, which is a non-routable IP address, but it works on the wireless network that I've got in my house. Um, the 192.168.1.1 is the default wireless router. We went in and added the guest extensions, and the guest extensions allow us to mount the um, mount the local e drive. At this point, we can go into the system tools with the disk utility. We notice we have a, a new 43 gig hard drive here. We want to go in and define this as a new volume. <clears throat> we'll say it's a UL1. We're going to uh, use an EXT4. We could use something else, but EXT4 is good enough. We'll format the volume. Doesn't take very long, and then we'll auto mount it. And by auto mounting it, it will mount it as slash media slash UL1, which is good enough for our purposes. Just to verify our changes, hostname, we can ping it at the IP address. We've got the slash media slash sfs dash e drive, which is the uh, shared e drive, and then we have the media slash u01. Uh, what we'd like to do now is We'd like to copy our database files over to our new media drive. Once we get them copied over, then we'll uh, unzip them, and we should be ready to uh, go in and start the installer. So just to kind of review what we've done, first thing we did was 
go in and modify the network connections and the network connections allowed us to um, uh, give it a static IP address and then we change the host name and change the network config file so that we had the, the new host name in the system. Um, We have the new hostname in the etc sysconfig network file. Um, we added the guest extensions to VirtualBox to allow us to mount the E drive, and from the E drive we were able to copy the data that we had previously downloaded, that being the um, the database binaries. Uh, we also added a a virtual drive. Uh, 40 gig in size and formatted it as an ext4 and then we've copied all of the files to it and now we can do the run installer <coughs> which will allow us to install the database and that concludes phase two because at this point we're going to go into the actual install but I wanted to verify that we knew what we were doing, we've got the operating system staged and ready, we've got the media mounted and loaded and uh, the host name configured. Uh, we should be able to go in and do the install at this point.